Hello and welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. And we're kicking off our hour with some more food. And I am joined by Igor Kritschmar, and he's the executive chef at La Spree Prime Steak Sushi Bar. Great yes. to have you on the show this well, morning. Well, thank you. I appreciate it yeah. for having me. This is smelling pretty good. And this is actually, we're getting to We're getting started on uh, a little duck for our second segment. Uh-huh. Uh, we're going to serve it with some uh, blood orange sauce and a little leek puree. Very good. Uh, but but what are we starting off with? What are we what starting are we off now? It's a little summery, I would call it a summery uh, soup. It's okay. very uh, light. You can make it at your own house if you have a blender. Um, it's called the watermelon gazpacho. It's on our uh, menu currently. Um, what we use is we use fresh Green River watermelon, which is actually local. It's considered to be some of the best. Want to try a piece? Oh, do I? <laughs> some of the best watermelon in uh, the country, pretty much, mm. considerably. Wait, where's that from? It's Green River. It's actually about. Oh, I've heard of them. Yeah, My grandma gets watermelon from them all the time. So it's yep. the best. And they have it's an so amazing true. festival out there mm. every year. Uh, that is good stuff, guys. Good. And we add a little bit of uh, local baby heirloom tomatoes. Um, you barely, you, I don't know if you could find them in stores, but uh, they do sometimes sell them. Uh, heirloom just means that they're uh, part of the original tomato group, or tomato family, I should say. So we're throwing um, vegetables and fruit in here all in one. Pretty much, yes. Cucumbers. Nice. <laughs> believe it or not, cucumbers are still considered a fruit by some people. Oh. Why is that? Uh, because it actually has seeds on the inside of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Well, but well, are strawberries not a fruit then? Just kidding. Well, because they have seeds on the outside. <laughs> That's <don't> true. <laughs> little seeds on the outside. So we added some little lemon in there. Lime juice, a little fresh lime, lime juice. Yep. And then we kind of take one of our spoons, kind of want to mash it up a little bit so it actually blends evenly. Okay. We add a little uh, jalapeno in there. Just one piece because you don't want it too Jalapeno spicy. And, lem- and, and watermelon. Yeah, it's uh, an interesting combination. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to try it. Yeah, we smash it up just a little bit so we could get some of that starting to blend. And we go over here. Okay. Blend it up. It's going to get a little noisy for me. Get all that in there. It'll blend up really nice. You don't even have to strain it out if you have a really good blender. So with this dish we're making, about how many people does this serve? Is this just this one? serves just one. Okay. Um, Sorry guys. If you were to it's make it, <laughs> no worries. If you were to make it in your house, uh-huh. uh, you could use uh, about a half a watermelon to. Uh, uh, one whole uh, English cucumber. Okay. Now this you're going to like a lot because we're working with a little bit of dry ice, a little molecular gastronomy oh, I should okay. say. So this so, you're saying is like a spring, more summer dish that you'd like to Yes, make? it cool. is a, a spring, more of a summery dish. And uh, the presentation you guys are going to really love. Yeah. I'm going to use a little bit of dry ice in the bowl. Nice. If you could see that. A little bit of water. To get it all nice and smoky. Then now we how did you come up with this? You're like, oh, let's throw dry ice in here. <laughs> I mean, I know you're the it's, pro here, but who would have thought? You throw it's a very ice. interesting <laughs> concept. And then just kind of to make it look like very summery and uh-huh. very cold. We add a little bit of the same ingredients we actually put in the blender. Oh, okay. A um, little bit of cucumbers in there as well. And remember, we are open uh, every uh, six days a week from... Five till ten, mm-hmm. and uh, we serve so sort of a full, uh, full restaurant menu and uh, sushi menu as you saw before. And now what we're doing actually, we're actually pouring what we blended in. And then we set it down right on the. Oh, I love that presentation. Right on the uh, little dry ice. That is great. And a little local micro arugula really goes on top of that really well and. Uh, very good. There you go. Very nice. I like that a lot. Let's pull this over here so we can yep. make sure that stays right there and get a shot of that. That is great. I, I love that. So is that a pr- pretty popular dish, you would say? It is a very popular nice. dish. A lot of people are impressed with the presentation side no, of it. No, it's really cool. Yeah. I like it. It's very, very refreshing. Um, we got some, uh, hopefully, some spoons And so here. let's talk about your hours. Yes. So you're open. Sure. 
So uh, Monday through uh, Tuesday Sunday. through Sunday. We okay. are closed on Mondays. We're open from 5 uh, p.m. till 10 p.m. Uh, Wednesdays we have a really interesting night. Uh, we what do a on? five for five, which is five items, and it's running all day long. And each of those items are five dollars. That's so, great. Yeah, That's our menu. You know, we bring in a lot of people locally, so that way they could come in and try some of our things. Uh, we got soft shell crab po' boy on that menu. Uh, a little bit of sausage and peppers covered in a little manchego cheese baked in the oven. Mm -hmm. uh, some really interesting stuff. Our menu is mostly focused on summery spring. Uh, dishes, you know, especially those you could eat outside. We have a beautiful patio out there too. So. Great. So we just made the watermelon gazpacho, but what are what would you say? What, what are some of your favorites? You like? My favorites right now in season. Uh, the season's coming up for beets. Mm -hmm. We make a really delicious beet salad. Uh, we put a little blood orange vinaigrette. Uh, a fig and balsamic aged uh, reduction on there uh, for a salad, an arugula pesto, and uh, pistachio crusted goat cheese. So if you if you haven't been over to the Spree yet and you want to try it, like if you're visiting throughout of town, that's something you got to try. That's something you have to oh, try. Man. It's one of Sounds our popular uh, salads, uh, entrees. We're going to be cooking one of my favorites here on the second segment is duck, uh, duck with a little blood orange sauce and a little leek puree. Perfect. Yeah. Should be good. Well, I'm going to try some of the the watermelon. Please do. And we're going to be right back with more right here on the Mountain Morning Show. Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. If you didn't catch before, I'm here with Igor Kritschmar, and he is the executive chef of La Spree Prime Steak Sushi Bar. And I just tried some of that watermelon gazpacho. It's like really sweet. You have like all those different, like the fruitiness, the, the vegetables, but then you kind of have like that little jump at the end with the yeah. jalapeno. A little bit nice. of jalapeno. Very yeah. good. I like that. Very Cold good. soup is awesome. Cold soup is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you to say. So, Igor, now we're, we are making a, a dish with duck. I almost said a duck with a dish, but a dish with a duck, which is right. called what? The duck is called the Muscovy duck breast, uh, served with okay. a blood orange sauce, a leek puree, and a stone fruit salad. You know, Park Very City good. is really known for their stone fruit, their berries, their markets are coming out, and we try to utilize markets, a lot of, yeah. Things going on nice. I exactly. Like do that. So what Muscovy means is just the type of breed of uh, duck that we, that we use. Uh, we don't really like to use the moulard because the, the breast is uh, too big, but we use a really nice clean um, duck breast uh, very uh, it's actually organic we get it uh, here from Wasatch Meats and this still has the skin on it yes we right? leave the skin on for two purposes mm -hmm. um, the skin is actually the best part some would say of the duck breast really? because right. it's actually they're crunchy it's oh, got a really nice good. flavor um, and it actually helps to cook the breast a little bit better so what we do is we season it with a little bit of salt and pepper you could do both sides. You could do just one. It's all up to you. Um, now, is this also a seas seasonal dish? Like it is a seasonal dish. Um, okay. Everything we have on our menu is pretty much with the season. There's a lot of, you know, you hear about a lot of places that are like serving butternut squash and, and all these really hearty, wintry dishes. And that's not something we're about. We try to change the menu about every six, uh, six months when the season changes. Nice. So winter like comes that. around and, you know. We, we bring up some more stuff on there. Good. So we got a little bit of oil in the pan. You don't want a lot of oil because, as you can see, there's a good, you know, centimeter of fat on the uh, duck breast itself. Kind of want to put it down there. So and let it sizzle, let it stay there like that for a little bit because you're rendering out the fat. And as soon as the fat renders out, you know, you could either, A, you know, cover it with either another pan. Or what you could do is if you have, uh, when you're cooking at home, you could have your oven on 375. Mm -hmm. And just put it like that in the oven for about four or five minutes until it's medium rare, flip it over, and then cook it for another minute or so. So Got essentially it. all you're doing with that oil is just keeping it from sticking. Is about keeping it, right? it from sticking, that is correct. Yeah. So we're going to have that cooking a little bit on, on the side. What we're doing here is we are going to heat up a little bit of our blood orange sauce. Blood orange sauce is actually what, what I did is I took fresh blood oranges mm -hmm. and I, I put them in a pot and I reduced them all the way down. Wow. To wow. a syrupy consistency. As you can see, is that it's what almost. I'm smelling yes. Right now? That is so good. Oh, wow. Like, oh. as soon as you open that, that smells delicious. So it's, it's almost like a syrup. It's going to coat the back of your spoon really well. Oh, wow. Very, very nice uh, item. 
We're going to pour a little bit of it when in the pan. When you reduce them, you're literally just boiling it down, isn't it? Boiling it down. Throw the oranges in there and... Yep, throw your in. orange juice, you know, and you want to boil it down a little bit. Um, this is actually a take on a very classic French dish, believe it or not. Uh, the It's called uh, duck a la orange, some people would call it, you know, very classic French. It's got a really uh, unique flavor to it because duck and oranges are probably the best combination together. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, we, uh, we add a little bit of butter to the mix. Um, again, something we have on the menu. We're going to have it all the way through August, uh, through October, through November, and then in November we're going to, you know, take it off yes. and introduce our winter menu. Good. So you remember if you're visiting, you know, over the summer, hanging out in Park City, um, and getting some, some fun outdoor stuff in. Remember, you need to check out L'Esprit to make sure you yep. grab some of these great seasonal dishes that they have. So. Well, an important part is, I guess, if you if you find out you like something like uh, this a lot, yeah, oh, yeah. the only way you're going to get it is you better come back a couple of times back. right now. Exactly, yep. <laughs> this is going to be gone. <laughs> that is true. Cool. And so then, what's next? So what we do is actually I had some cooking earlier, as you guys could see. Uh, we got a really nice um, kind of crust from the fat. Mm -hmm. it's, it's got it cooked down a little bit. Uh, duck and pheasant, believe it or not, a lot of people don't know this, is that you could serve it actually uh, medium rare. So medium rare duck uh, is probably the best way to cook your duck, medium rare to medium. A lot of people prefer it well done, but some people, uh, I wouldn't recommend cooking it well done. It's a little tough, isn't it? It, it gets really tough if you really, uh, get, into, if you really get into cooking it uh, that well. So what we have here, I brought a little bit of uh, some ingredients to show you guys, is uh, we have fresh uh, peaches. Uh, this is one of my favorite fruits that I've never known about. It's actually called a uh, red velvet apricot. Wow. Where's uh, that Very from? interesting. It's actually out of California. They have a lot of different uh, uh, types of them. They have a black velvet, they have a red velvet, and they actually uh, are mixing a lot of uh, flavors together and combining actually... Uh, something that you wouldn't see every day. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's great. These are called leeks. Now what leeks are, they're pretty much just an oversized scallion or a green onion. Mm -hmm. um, and what we do now is we take that peaches, red velvet apricot, um, a little bit of micro arugula in the mix, and we use a little bit of minus eight vinegar. And what minus eight vinegar is, is actually uh, distilled from the same grapes that are distilled uh, to use, uh, used to make uh, ice wine out of Canada. Wow. So we add a little bit of that in there, a little bit of extra virgin olive it's oil. very aromatic. It is very aromatic, and it tastes really sweet and has that vinegar flavor to it. A little bit of salt and pepper, and then we are pretty much ready to plate up. Awesome. We got our leek curry already made, ready to go, and going to do is wipe a little bit of this off. And you guys are actually um, being, or an event you're at here in Park City is the, the Food and Wine Festival oh, yes. coming up the beginning of July, which yeah, is it's, fantastic. Uh, it's going to be a very interesting time. We are really going to start showcasing a lot of our um, a lot of our steaks and options that we have on the mm -hmm. menu. Again, like Scott pointed out earlier, uh, we only serve USDA Prime. And, uh, you know, you hear a lot about restaurants that, you know, say they serve USDA Prime, but it's such a hard meat to buy. It's only 1% or 2% of the local market uh, in the meat industry right now. And especially right now, the beef industry is growing so quick. And what is the sauce that you just put on that? A little bit of uh, yeah, leek puree. So what I do is oh, I cut up okay. all those leeks, and I uh, cooked, them, cooked them down in a little bit of cream, a little bit of bay leaves, uh, thyme, salt, and pepper. When I cook it down, once it gets really nice and soft, you strain it out, and then you puree it in the blender. Wow. That's all you do. Really nice and uh, medium rare. Mm -hmm. Kind of put it on top like that. Make it really presentable. We take our blood orange reduction sauce. Pour it all over there. <laughs> Getting excited. The art of putting the sauce on a plate is such an important <laughs> oh, thing. Oh, yes, right? it is. Then we take our stone fruit salad, and we kind of put it right on the side, making it look all fancy. Very nice. Wow. And then that's our duck, Muscovy duck oh, rest. I'm excited wow. to try that. Got some uh, forks and knives oh, over good. here for you guys. He's ready for us. Thanks, Igor. Oh, yeah. Anytime. <laughs> Very cool. Well, so for those who haven't been to um, 
let's bring it before. What can they expect? Like, say they're from out of town, or maybe they just moved to Park City recently, or want to head up from downtown. So, like, what can they expect from your experience? Well, I mean, because this has been so amazing already, just with you right. and Scott. What can they expect being there? We are very uh, family oriented. Um, we are a very quiet uh, and a very unique boutique hotel slash restaurant. Um, Everybody knows your name when you come in. Uh, they are, we are very hot, you know, our hospitality is our number one priority for you. We'll work with anything you guys have. Uh, if you have any specific dietary restrictions, you know, a lot of people are right now are allergic to gluten. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, nut or fish allergies. Uh, we cater to those and we actually make sure you guys have a terrific time and we would love to see you, you know, come back in a later, you know, uh, later time. Very good. Yeah, well, so e e we mentioned, you know, you're actually you're opening for brunch. Right? We are actually. Uh, it's a very uh, exciting time for us. Uh, we're going to be actually opening for brunch in July. Um, we are going to be doing a lot of interesting things on our menu. We're doing a uh, uh, croissant stuffed with uh, croissant chocolate stuffed croissant French toast. Oh man! With a little bit of oh uh, gosh, <laughs> <laughs> anything with chocolate wow. in it. Man, why did why did you bring that too? Come I on! I know, I should have. <laughs> <laughs> a little now breakfast this, for this you guys. <laughs> I know, right? Well, we can eat duck for breakfast. Yeah. It works for us, right? <laughs> you guys had sushi yeah, for breakfast. Yeah, I know, right? A little so earlier. Good. Cool. Lunch. We've been up so early. Yeah. It's not lunch now. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good. So that's so. one of our main items. It's also served with a bourbon-aged uh, maple syrup oh, on wow. top of that wow. as well. We know doing, what that means. Oh, yeah. We want you to come back. Well, yeah, we're coming back for that. Breakfast. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> and we got a little uh, braised shore rib eggs benedict, uh, basically an eight-hour braised shore rib kind of falls apart with the poached mm -hmm. egg and chipotle hollandaise sauce on top of that okay, just those two things just bring those back oh, next time man. Oh, we're, we're done now i'm bringing them back <laughs> so it's going to be Sounds an interesting good. time it's going to be around 8 30 to 12 o'clock uh six days a week or i'm sorry saturday and sunday right now mm -hmm. but when the season starts to pick up and sundance you know is around the corner we're going to be probably open every day for brunch as well perfect well let's give your website lespreeprime.com okay. awesome. and uh, you could also make reservations on Open Table. You could go to Open Table through lespreeprime.com lespreeprime and also uh, we do accept a lot of walk-ins, especially now in the off-season. Uh, anybody is welcome to just stop by, come in and enjoy some either sushi or steak or a little duck. Uh, we also have a, a pork chop on the menu. Uh, we offer a lot of great things for for a really reasonable price and uh, very fresh ingredients. Not a lot of places you can go and have steak and sushi. I mean, that's the no. true mm -hmm. surf and yeah. turf. And, exactly. You know, and a lot, people can do both. Is exactly. A lot of people don't understand how you could have steak and sushi, but once they actually have the, yeah. both of them, have one for an appetizer and have one for an entree, they're actually oh, yeah. thrown back because it's such a great combination to have mm -hmm. that a lot of places don't really have well, in the you, area. You guys have so many fantastic dishes. You know, you need to, you need to go here every day right. to get them all in right, and, exactly. and try them at South And place. also we have, seasonally. oh yeah, we yeah. also have a lot of local products. We use Paisley Farms out of Lehigh. Uh, we get our pork from them and you know we're going to start using a lot of the local uh, farmers markets there in the area to get a lot of great stone fruit and vegetables to uh, to market in our restaurants because we support local farming. We support uh, farm to table ingredients. Well and it's always it always tastes better. Exactly because mm -hmm. once it's once it tastes better uh, once you know once you know where it came from you know you you know it's going to have a great quality. Yep. Very Absolutely. good. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us. I think Joe and I are going to try some of this duck. Please well, thank do. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be right back after this quick break. Stay with us. Awesome.